David Hill here at Valencia High School at the conclusion of a Wednesday night practice, uh, a three-hour practice. You guys go at it. I'm telling you, you guys go at it for a long time. But what the heck? I mean, you're playing and you're practicing after Thanksgiving, and that's always a good sign in terms of championship ball, and that's where you guys are. Um, you're getting ready for a state championship final uh, right here on this field come Friday night. That's got to be exciting, right? I mean, who, who, wants to, who wants to talk about that? And I'll introduce you guys to our audience as well, too. But the game's right here right in your backyard, okay? And so talk about what that means for you in terms of having a home championship game here right on your field. Uh, it means a lot because we our, our entire school is very supportive of the football team, especially. Um, we've been doing posts all week about come out and support the game. Right. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if all these stands are packed on Friday night. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Maybe people up in the hills too, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just so you guys know who we're talking with, um, I want to introduce each one of these young men. Uh, I spent some time learning everybody's name, so I'm going to get it right, and we're going to go right on down the line here. So I'm going to start here with Riley Roy, senior linebacker uh, for the Vikings as well. Connor Downs, quarterback for the Vikings right here on my right. Moises Haynes, running back, senior running back. And then we have Ben Seymour, senior defense. Defensive end, a good-looking group here. And these guys, you know, if you've followed anything about Valencia High School, and if you have not, you're missing out because this is a high-powered, high-volume program. Uh, they have scored a bunch of points. Uh, I like the fact that you actually look balanced. You run the ball well on average 200-some-odd yards a game, and you're throwing the ball well as well, too, on balance. And I think that's why you're going to be playing here Friday night. That makes for a championship team. The other side of that is the defensive side. So I'm, I'm going to turn over to the defensive guys right now for a minute and talk to me about what kind of challenges you face this weekend, this Friday night against this Oaks Christian football team, whom of all, they've got good athletes. They run the ball and throw the ball well too. So let's start off with the senior. Riley, tell me about what it's going to take defensively to get things done this Friday. Well, obviously, Oaks Christian is probably one of the best, if not the best team we played this year. So we're going to have our hands full. Uh, they run the ball well. They pass well. They're kind of overall just a good team, kind of like us. They're 50-50 with run pass. Uh, if we just do our job, we swarm to the ball, we just do what we've been doing all year, I think we should be fine on defense. And, you know, defense sets tempo. I love defense, and I love offense, too. And I, I played defense, but say, defense t uh, has tempo. And, and you know that defense, they say, wins championship, but you got to score points, too. But talk to me, Ben, about the defensive side of the ball. You're on that side of the ball. What is your objective up front as you get ready to prepare for this Oaks Christian team? Uh, up front, we just have to stop the run, like force them to pass the ball. Um, like they have a big old line, so like ours as a D line, we have a like big job ahead of us to like make sure that we they don't run the ball on us. And, and that's simply put. And so, and now we can turn over to you know, most people are saying, oh, it's exciting, offense, 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 score a bunch of points. Uh, I I do recall, I forget what game it was. What did I see? The game it was 65, 63. It was crazy, right? Calabasas. Big shootout, Calabasas, right, just right up the road. So you guys are capable of scoring points with anybody. Do you anticipate that kind of game, Moises? Do you anticipate? that kind of game coming up or you're prepared for anything I'm sure but what do you anticipate come Friday night um, it's definitely gonna be a high scoring game I know that uh, our offense is gonna be moving the ball not just in the run game but in the pass game uh, our old line is gonna be on point they're always on point every Friday night and I know Connor is gonna be doing his job and me and Javon we're gonna be doing our shit too okay fantastic now Connor you are I, I saw you throwing the ball you wing it Okay, and I love it. You got that lefty throw, ball spins a little differently, but there wasn't a soul that had any problems catching your football, and you throw a beautiful football. Um, what's nice about you and when I watch you perform out here in practice, uh, there's a confidence, and there's a sense of, this is what I get, and you tell me, the camaraderie that you guys have is unbelievable. I mean, it seems like you come out to practice, and everybody's together, offensive linemen, defensive linemen. You don't always see that. What do you attribute that to? Is that something that is of the norm. Is that something normal with this team or is that just something that just has come about lately? Uh, absolutely a camaraderie. Uh, we pride ourselves on being as close of a team, not just in football, but outside of football. We try and spend as much time as possible with each other because uh, we're practically going to war together. So you always want to know that the guy next to you has your back and um, I always want the guys around me to know that I have their back, of course. So That's excellent. And, and so you guys have that kind of camaraderie. You said who goes over whose house? Who's got the closest house? Who's closest to the school? Uh, 
<laughs> Whenever we have like a, a yeah. big team meetings, we go to his house. You go to the, okay, and you got the food ready and all yeah, that good stuff. Yeah, okay, ready. I got to find out where that is, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find out where that is. But it is great to spend time with you guys. I know you've been here long. It's been a long day. Uh, you had three hours of practice. I know that's all in preparation for what you're going to see here Friday night. We're excited. HSPM will be here. Sideline uh, previews and sideline reports and all that good stuff. We're excited to be here with you. Um, I want to appreciate you and thank you for taking the time and good luck come Friday night versus Oaks Christian High School. Uh, David Hill here with these young men that are, are, are ready to go. Um, the hay is almost in the barn, as they say. Can you believe it's almost Thursday? Tomorrow's Thursday. You guys got to be excited about this. We're excited to bring it to you. We're excited to be here with them and we'll be excited to be here Friday night. Hopefully the temperatures will be just like this. This is perfect. I can, I can handle this. All right. HSPN Sports, David Hill on the campus of Valencia High School. Right. Uh, see, you know, you know, thank you, boy. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm pushing out all your uh, profiles. Thank now, you. I didn't get...